So, yeah, we're, um, we're sorry about that, but we are working here as hard as we can to fix that. Yeah, and we'll cover exactly that. I'm so <laughs> happy. There are really passionate people who want to make America the beacon of liberty. Yeah. That it deserves to be. So for those of you in the audience who, who are, aren't familiar with uh, Rick Falkbank, he is the founder of the Swedish Pirate Party, uh, starting in uh, 2000, well, 2009 was the first election, right? Um, and he figured out how to organize a very large group of uh, especially uh, young people in Sweden uh, on very short notice with very limited resources and basically run circles around the competition uh, to, to get the word out and to get people motivated, to get activists coordinated. Uh, went on to write a book called Swarmwise about those techniques um, and has continued to study um, how, how best to do that, has given TED Talks on the subject. Um, uh, also, uh, the, the Pirate Party was founded in part on, uh, uh, on a response to the regime of IP uh, and copyright protection. Um, and so uh, Rick and I began a conversation uh, several months ago about what we're doing here in New Hampshire with the Free State Project and all the, the different individuals and, and organizations that are performing different uh, kinds of activism here. And uh, he thought that was very interesting. And uh, I thought he could share with us some of his uh, perspective on, on what he's done and how we can uh, do what we're doing here even better and, and more effectively. So please give a warm welcome to Rick Blockman. Thank you so much for the introduction. And again, I wish I could have been there in person and met of you, all of you, shared a beer and so on. Mm -hmm. But I have been too close friends to reporters, too critical of the regime. And so I've ended up on very, this uh, don't sound so bad in themselves, but frankly, I can't guarantee my safety anymore. And it's sad, it's really sad state of affairs, but it can be fixed. And with the help of people like you, it will be fixed. Because America has a really, really strong sense of liberty that simply does not exist elsewhere. And I, I believe that this will come back one way or another. So I'm really happy there are people working to, to change America into what it, what it deserves to be. Today, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to organize for liberty. 